Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Julia Wiegand. As two bills advance their way up to Senate for consideration, Senator John Udichek gives us his thoughts on all the virus combating efforts. WYLN's Phil Kaufman has more. We had a video call with State Senator John Udichek to discuss his views and opinions on the pandemic so far and the actions needed to continue to move forward. I think our medical facilities, our healthcare uh, system, our hospitals, our regional hospitals have done an outstanding job uh, specifically to uh, Lehigh Valley Health Network in Hazleton, John Fletcher and his team. Uh, we've had daily conference calls since this crisis began. They've been outstanding in providing information, providing transparency in, in how they are, are battling the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, and they're clearly at the center of the surge. This is a serious public health crisis in Luzerne County and across Pennsylvania, across the world. And uh, our healthcare systems are responding uh, with heroic actions. According to a press release from State Representative and House Majority Leader Brian Cutler, thousands of frustrated Pennsylvanians have expressed their concern with the continued shutdowns from the stay-at-home orders and the impact on the economy and businesses throughout the Commonwealth. I, I think uh, mistakes were made early on uh, in when the governor rolled out his uh, life-sustaining, non-life-sustaining business list. Uh, was it based uh, 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 on uh, guidelines from the federal government. They've been updated. We're debating a bill tomorrow in the General Assembly that would create uniformity uh, and conform Pennsylvania's guidelines with the federal guidelines to make sure that when we know a business is operating, it's operating safely. Senate Bill 613 was amended in the House to direct the governor to produce a plan to allow businesses that can follow Center for Disease Control and Prevention and U.S. Homeland Security, Cybersecurity, and Infrastructure Security Agency Essential Workforce Guidelines to resume working in Pennsylvania. It, it is going to be a challenge to get back to normal. Uh, there's no question of that. Uh, I, I pray every day that we have a vaccine in the near future so that we can pre prevent uh, this disease going forward. But I think what we're debating this week in Harrisburg is about how do we open the economy in a responsible way? If you recall, we closed counties down one by one in terms of a stay at, at home order, where we had a hotspot, an epicenter, we closed that county down. There are many counties in Pennsylvania that have very few cases. And I think we need to allow local counties uh, to be able to open up their businesses if they are not an epicenter. As Cutler states, Pennsylvania businesses, large and small, and the millions of tax-paying residents who work for those businesses deserve the opportunity to innovate and adjust their existing business to today's unique and challenging environment. We're gonna have to sustain these small businesses. They're the backbone of our economy. We can't have them wiped out. We have to get them back uh, in business. We have to do it in a responsible way. However, to make sure that first and foremost, we're thinking of public health, uh, uh, but we can do that. We can do that uh, and, and still open this economy up and get help to the people that need it. Reporting from WYLN News, this is Philip Kaufman. Thanks, Phil. Everyone's encouraged to continue the practice of social distancing and keep their guard up during the current health crisis. Our Julie Stefanovich spoke with Hazleton Mayor Jeff Cassatt about some recent statistics. Many are restless and want to get back to once normal living. States are discussing plans to eventually reopen businesses and get people back to work. But we are unfortunately still in the midst of a major health pandemic where everyone must still remain vigilant. Well, the number of positive cases is going down. It's not going down. It's increasing at a slower pace. But that is only because of the number of tests that are being given has cut, been cut dramatic, dramatically. So don't be surprised if the numbers look like it's getting better. However, it is not. Number of positive cases continues to rise and will continue to rise until the people can stay separated and the virus has nowhere to jump from person to person. Health guidelines still must be adhered to in order to prevent the disease from spreading further. 
We need to stay separated. We need to social distance. The people are getting a false hope that this is going to end soon. There is no timeline of when this is going to be over. Even if state governments begin to relax restrictions, it's still up to local municipalities to make the final decision as to what's best for its residents. Well, right now, I think it's too fast. And no matter what the governor and the state say, the city's curfew and stipulations remain in effect until April 30th, at which time we will uh, evaluate on our own and we will make a determination. Just because the state says you can go back to work or go back to the old way, the city still has the final say in whether or not uh, businesses open and other functions can go on. A drive through testing site is scheduled to be placed at the Mohegan Sun Arena's parking lot in Wilkesbury Township, but that could in turn affect the Hazleton area. However, you know, the Hazleton people that are contracting it may not have a mode of transportation to get up there to be able to get tested. Um, I, I would I like to see the testing remain in the city of Hazleton. We have two testing sites right now that are capable of handling uh, the volume if the tests became available. You know, we're pleading to the Department of Health to get us more testing equipment. That way we could keep track, keep staff, and be able to administer uh, treatment if necessary at a much rapid pace. Reporting for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. Thanks, Julie. And more on that brand new testing site. Earlier this week, the Pennsylvania Health Secretary announced a drive through COVID-19 testing site would be opening up in Northeast PA. Members of Pima, the Health Department, and the National Guard were looking at potential sites in Luzerne County Tuesday. State officials announced today the testing facility is scheduled to open this weekend at Mohegan Sun Arena in Wilkes-Barre Township. The testing site will be set up in the arena's parking lot. Many local leaders, including the mayors of Wilkes-Barre and Wilkes-Barre Township, were not consulted about the decision. Patients need to pre-register. The facility is set to open this Sunday, April 19th, and will be open to residents of other counties as well. And the Pennsylvania Health Secretary signed an order providing worker safety measures to combat COVID-19. Dr. Rachel Levine's order provides protection for critical workers employed at businesses that are authorized to maintain in-person operations. Under the order, masks must be provided to employees, and the work facility must have a sufficient number of employees performing all measures listed to ensure the safety of both the public and employees. The order also establishes protocols to help employees maintain social distancing during their workday. Pennsylvania House Republicans acted today to pass legislation to save family-sustaining jobs. Senate Bill 613 was amended to direct Governor Tom Wolf in producing a plan that allows businesses following essential workforce guidelines to resume working in Pennsylvania. It allows the governor to join House Republicans in creating a plan for allowing businesses that operate safely to do so. It would make businesses like construction companies and real estate offices eligible to reopen if they follow federal guidelines. House Bill 1189 also passed unanimously with bipartisan support to protect workers from, jobless, from job loss and increase first responder benefits. Both bills will now advance up to Senate for further consideration. A high-speed chase in the city of Hazleton led to the arrest of four individuals. 18-year-old Gabriel Fabian was driving an Acura TL in the area of Shaft Road and Cedar Street Tuesday night. Three juveniles were also in the vehicle as police attempted to pull Fabian over. He refused to stop, leading police on a high-speed chase that eventually ended at the intersection of 8th Street and Manhattan Court. Multiple firearms and ski masks were found in the vehicle, and one gun was reported stolen out of Wilkes-Barre. All four individuals were taken into custody. Fabian was charged with persons prohibited to possess a firearm, fleeing and eluding, and prohibited conduct during an emergency. The trio of juveniles were charged as well with multiple weapons violations on top of other related offenses. Coming up on WYLAN News, the city gets a new virus fighting weapon. Plus, some relief for airports during these tough times. But first, We'll take a look at our five-day forecast brought to you by the WYLN Weather Kids. We'll be right back. My name is 
is Charlie. I am eight, and the forecast for tomorrow is partly cloudy. It's okay that everybody ignores me when I drive. It's fine, because I get a safe driving bonus check every six months I'm accident free. Because I don't use my cell phone when I'm driving, even though my family does and leaves me all alone. Here's something else. I don't share it with mom. Right, mom? I have a brand new putter you don't even know about. It's awesome. Safe driving bonus checks only from Allstate. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in hometown in the hometown village square. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. WYLN presents Community Update on the Coronavirus, Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. with rebroadcast at 7 p.m. and 10 a.m. the following morning. Brought to you by the Lehigh Valley Health Network, PBS 39, Adams Outdoor, and WYLN TV 35, we're your local network. Hazleton recently added a new weapon to its city arsenal for coronavirus combat. That weapon, a Decon 7 system with COVID-19 killing capabilities, on top of carcinogens and fires, and a long list of other chemicals like biological warfare agents, toxic and industrial. The nearly $4,500 system solution has an eight-hour shelf life and will be produced as needed. Mayor Jeff Cassatt said the system will pay for itself over time, since the city no longer has to pay outside companies to disinfect its holding cells. Um, about three weeks ago, we got together and we were talking about safety for the police department and the fire department. We looked into what could be done to make it a safer work environment. We came across equipment that's been utilized by other departments to sanitize or disinfect uh, police cars, fire equipment, buildings, buses. So we quickly ordered one, and it happened to come in yesterday and was installed and was put you know, immediately into use. The system was placed into service Tuesday and relies on a three-part mixing station to produce a solution. That solution can then be sprayed on surfaces and in ventilation systems to provide a whole new level of protection for fire, police, public transit, street, and city hall workers. Police can neutralize drugs and other chemical exposure they may face, while public transportation systems can also get a good cleaning. The city's also considering the purchase of a battery-operated fogging unit, which has the power to clean and disinfect entire rooms. City officials in Wilkes-Barre will be discussing the ways federal funds will be used from the coronavirus relief package. The city was recently awarded over $915,000 in funding to use for the COVID-19 pandemic. The majority of funding goes toward retaining jobs for low and moderate income workers, grants, and loans to create medical equipment. Other portions will be used for testing and treatment clinics, as well as existing public service providers. Wilkes-Barre City Council is scheduled to hold its meeting Thursday afternoon. Just over $20 million in CARES Act funding is heading to the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport. Congressman Matt Cartwright welcomed the millions of dollars in funding as part of the newest CARES Act Airport Grant Program. Funds will provide some financial relief to eligible U.S. airports affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, allowing them to continue operations and replace lost revenue. The funding will be available for airport capital expenditures debt payments, and operating expenses, which include payroll and utilities. A pillar of the community and a good friend of the W. Wyland family passed away today. Richard Sala was a longtime employee with the United Way of Greater Hazleton. He served the community in various ways, including hosting the annual Helping Hand Society telethons and 
serving as president for the Hazleton Kiwanis Club. He will be truly missed by all who had the pleasure of knowing him. Coming up on Yorkville's News Choice, we talk OBGYN visits on this Wellness Wednesday in Community and You. Plus, Yingling steps up to the plate during the pandemic. Stay with us. Coronavirus is now in our community and changing the way we live, but rest assured that your partners at Lehigh Valley Health Network are here for you. If you think that you have coronavirus or been exposed to someone who does, the most important thing you can do is stay home. Lehigh Valley Health Network is providing free screenings online and by phone. Complete an e-visit, call the MyLVHN hotline, or do an LVHN video visit. Know the symptoms, get the facts, and get screened from home at lvhn.org slash COVID-19. CARES is a local and family-owned agency dedicated to providing exceptional services for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities throughout Pennsylvania. CARES specializes in day and residential services, respite, home and community, behavior supports, and chaperone vacations. At CARES, the participants are the VIPs. CARES, empowering individuals to maximize their opportunities and potential in their community. Have your event with Whitetail, graduation, birthday, bachelor, reunion parties? They have the most tranquil backyard experience with beautiful mountains in the background. If your company or business wants a different alternative to a golf outing, they have outings that can accommodate you. You can have the entire facility to yourself. They will work with you to set up your day of events, sporting clay competitions, trap and wobble trap games, skeet. After a day of shooting, you'll return to a meal designed for you. Call Mike at 570-535-6123 for available group options. What's on TV? Plenty. WYLN TV 35, the best in local programming. Welcome to Community and You here on WYLN. And look, it's Wednesday, which means it's Wellness Wednesday, thanks to our friends over at Lehigh Valley Health Network. And today we are on location at the Destin Center on Alliance Drive with Dr. Patrick Fierro, OBGYN, who's here to talk with us today a little bit about general gynecology, but let me narrow it down a little bit for you. Mom and dad, your little girl might not be so little anymore, and it might be time to uh, consider scheduling her for her first gynecologist appointment. You know, what's a good age? Absolutely. The, the, the current recommendation is to start a GYN examination at the age of 21. Uh, when I first started practice, the recommendation was the age of 18 or first sexual contact. We do recommend that if a woman has been sexually active uh, within three years of first sexual contact that she start having GYN examinations. Most important thing is to get a woman on board with contraception at any age, especially if they're sexually active. And and or protective measures for to protect against sexually transmitted diseases, because those things are important. Um, we have to remember that although the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology is recommending the, the first pap smear at the age of 21, those are just guidelines, not mandates. So you really have to individualize treatment and recommendations for each patient. A woman should have an annual examination, annual meaning every year. Pap smears and other um, screening tests, pap smear being a screening test, um, is something that's done on a yearly basis depending on um, whether or not she's had normal pap smears in the past. If a woman has had three normal pap smears, we can then stretch out um, the uh, time um, limit on pap smears to three years. If they've, we do now, we do reflexive uh, human papillomavirus screening for pap smears. If the pap smear was negative for HPV, we then can stretch it out to five years. So that, that's something that we recommend at all age groups. Now we called, we scheduled, walking into that appointment, what should that young woman expect? 
the, well, <laughs> nothing terrible. <laughs> it's not a torturous examination. Uh, most gynecologists are extremely sensitive to the fact that this is a very sensitive area, and it's a sensitive area both physically and emotionally. So we're very careful as far as doing an examination on a woman, and we they, she should expect to be examined entirely. Now, most gynecologists do a full physical examination, meaning heart, lungs, abdomen. We do breast examinations. We recommend self-breast examinations as well. Uh, she will have a pelvic examination depending on whether or not she's sexually active. Um, and in most instances, a rectal as well. Uh, when you mentioned contraception, you know, there's a lot of options out there for uh, young women considering um, getting on the pill, um, getting an implant. Oh, there's a lot of options. <laughs> and uh, anywhere from barrier methods such as uh, male condoms, there's female condoms, there are diaphragm cervical caps. Um, you can get not only the pill, which is once a day, but there's the patch, which is once a week, or a ring, which is applied once a month. Uh, there are injections once every three months. There's an implantable, which is the same as an injection, which goes into the forearm and that's good for three years. The old recommendation was intrauterine devices. Uh, shouldn't be used unless a woman's had children, but now we apply them even for women who haven't had children because they're safer uh, and they're a, lot, uh, they're a lot easier to apply and they don't cause cervical incompetence or anything of that sort. And if a woman's in a monogamous relationship and not practicing dangerous sexual practices, then an IUD is a recommendation. And you, you, we've got them for five years of all the way up to 10 years. Um, and these are all viable solutions. And of course, there's permanent sterilization. And a lot of women are vying for that option, but I wouldn't recommend that until past the age of 30. I know some doctors do it sooner, but I've seen a lot of regrets in women below that age. There's nothing to be scared of. Your gynecologist is here for you. Thank you for joining us on this Wellness Wednesday in Community and You. We'll see you next time here on WYLA. There are 125 used car dealers in town, but there's only one Churras. Quality vehicle since 1954. Voted the best used car dealer. Check out their inventory, see something you like, take a test ride. Churras Auto Sales. Call 570-454-7229. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Sunday night on WYLN from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. for hard-hitting, high-flying, non-stop action as only Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling High Voltage can bring you. That's Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling every Sunday night on WYLN. I'll see you in the ring. Looking for information on the coronavirus pandemic? Make sure it's from a reliable source. Go to WYLNTV.com and click on the Lehigh Valley Health Network banner for the real facts about the coronavirus pandemic. And watch WYLN News live at 5.30 for updates on this ongoing crisis. The source matters now more than ever. WYLN, we're your local network. The giant company throws down another $250,000 to support local hunger relief efforts. These COVID-19 pandemic-related donations now total $750,000 to hunger relief organizations and children's hospitals in communities across the company's footprint. Each organization will use these funds to help address immediate needs like supplying food, and ensuring critical food delivery to families in need throughout local communities. These funds will also help offset added operational expenses during this tough time.
$100,000 in relief for Americans during the COVID-19 public health crisis. Thanks, Yingling. DG Yingling and Son Incorporated, America's oldest brewery, announced their donation commitment to Americans nationwide. Yingling will match dollar for dollar up to 45K to support the Gary Sinise Foundation and its emergency COVID-19 combat service campaign to assist individuals on the virus front lines. Yingling's also a founding donor of the PA Restaurant and Lodging Association's Hospitality Assistance Response of Pennsylvania Fund, which supports hospitality workers like restaurant staff, servers, and bartenders financially impacted by the pandemic. You can donate at donate.garysinisefoundation.org slash yingling and at prla.org slash harp. That's the news. Remember, the source matters now more than ever. You can get news updates on our WYLN News Facebook page or WYLNTV.com by clicking the LVHN banner for the real facts about COVID-19. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN TV. You've seen university advertising. A student like me pitching you the same old ideas. But I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm going to tell you what you can do with a Penn State degree. You can help anyone, go anywhere, create. And with 20 campuses to choose from, you'll always feel at home. Look, Penn State is amazing, but your best years are just beginning. Come find out for yourself. Hey guys, this is Ray Merrill from Blaze Alexander at Buick Cadillac GMC. Tap out a great lease on his Buick Encores, only $199 a month with breakaway mirrors. For $100 more, you can have the Sierra or the Acadia. Or would you prefer this all new CT5? And it's tax match fee. The will match your tax refund up to $1,000. And if you're not getting one, we'll give you a $1,000 trading system. So get down to Blaze Alexander Greater Hazleton, take advantage of these lease deals, get yourself a Sierra, and see why we take the deals the other guys won't. Have your event with Whitetail, graduation, birthday, bachelor, reunion parties? They have the most tranquil backyard experience with beautiful mountains in the background. If your company or business wants a different alternative to a golf outing, they have outings that can accommodate you. You can have the entire facility to yourself. They will work with you to set up your day of events. Sporting clay competitions, trap and wobble trap games, skeet. After a day of shooting, you'll return to a meal designed for you. Call Mike at 570-535-6123 for available group options. Thank you. 